17th of April, 1832, imagine you are a young child from the El Ufia tribe, you have just gone to sleep in your Bedouin tent, the air is cold, but your sheep's fur shawl keeps you warm. You close your eyes, only to awaken to the sound of gurgling and a scuffle. Your mother drops to the floor in front of you, she is clutching at her throat, blood pumps out between her fingers, her eyes are large and still. As you stand up, the wooden butt of a rifle hits you in the head and everything goes black. That night French colonial troops including legionnaires under the leadership of Colonel Maximilian Joseph Schauenberg would murder 100 civilians of the tribe in their sleep. The order for the massacre had come from the head of the French forces in Algeria, the Duke of Rovigo, but its motivation is unknown, although it was assumed to have simply been an act of terror to cower the population to the French presence. The French soldiers would ride back into Algiers with the heads of their victims on their spears, the age and sex of the victims had been completely ignored. This was another stain on the French presence in Africa and one that would never be acknowledged or apologized for.